Hello, so this is the product I have been spending this spring on mostly. It is a old uh, Intel Intellect 8 slash 80 system, approximately built in 1974. And to the left we have a paper tape reader made by Fawcett, also early 70s, model 4021, and then to the left further is a paper tape, paper tape punch uh, 4070, made by Fawcett. And to the right we have a terminal, an SVT PC terminal, CT82, 82 characters by 16 lines, and also chessboard, we get to that a little bit later. So let's open the lid of this thing. So to the left here we have the CPU board. Looks like this with the 8080 Intel 8080 microprocessor in the middle here. This board here is the front panel controller, and here we have two RAM boards. One RAM board is uh, 4K of memory, it has Intel 2102 1K chips, uh, and there is two boards for a total of 8K of memory. We have here the EEPROM board, it has 16 1702 memory chips, so each of them is contained 2 kilobit or 256 bytes of memory for a total of 4K, and it's here where the monitor is located. And over here is the uh, EEPROM programmer board for the front panel EEPROM socket. And this is the I.O. board, it's the I.O. board for the punch and reader. And this is the I.O. board here uh, for the serial port, for the, mon for the terminal. With this machine, it also came great documentation, uh, which was very useful for uh, when trying to uh, restore this to operating condition. It describes all boards in here. And one of the first things I did when, when re restoring this machine was to create this um, extender board. And it was very useful because I could access all the signals uh, using this extender board and attach the uh, plug-in boards here instead. I put this um, extender board on github so anyone that likes a copy could download the, the files there and create their own i also have these nice manuals this is the operator manual for the intellect 880 with all the commands described in there our command for reading files from from punched tape and Substitute memory and whatever. Write commands, write punch, uh, write data, intellect data to paper tape punch. Uh, while doing the repair, I had to replace a bunch of components in this. For example, this uh, power transistor was in the power supply, the 5 volt power supply. It was very leaky, so the power supply wasn't uh, regulating at all. On the memory board, there was this um, uh, dip switch that wasn't very working very good. The memory board has also a number of faulty 2102 RAM chips. And we had a few logic chips that was broken as well. So after replacing all these components, it became live again and operating. Before uh, it has been sitting on a shelf, I bought this machine 
uh, approximately 35 years ago on the flea market. Not very expensive back then. And apparently it has been used for some kind of newspaper for ingesting data from paper tapes, but I don't know much more than that. Okay, so let's start this thing up. When uh, turning the power on, nothing much happens actually. And that is because that the uh, monitor ROM is located at address 3800 hexadecimal. And the reset vectors are stored in RAM. So I need to poke in a jump instruction so that when uh, reset is pressed, we get to the monitor ROM. And this is done by doing this like this, setting the mem access and then load for loading, and then poke in the jump instruction C3, and then increment, and then the low address byte, and then the high address byte, so 380 deposit. You can see that it pops up here. Address. So now let's set put in wait, switch off memory access, press reset, and then press uh, release the wait switch. And then, as you can see, we have the monitor running there. You have the prompt from the monitor and it says 8080 version 4. Now you can do simple commands like d0ff, which shows the memory from address 0 and onwards. Uh, the monitor has all sorts of commands. You can read paper tape, you can write paper tape, you can uh, substitute memory, etc. Et right, we also have this uh, nice little faucet punch. It is a faucet 4070 punch. It can punch 75 characters per second. And let's try that and see how it works and sounds. First some blanks. Punch some blanks. And now try to punch some data from the computer. Intel hex data directly to the punch. Yes, initially, initially I talked about chess and the chessboard, uh, and uh, that's because I have here on this paper tape here, I have Micro Chess for 8080, uh, and it's a program that was developed by Peter Jennings in 1977, and uh, here is the manual for this program. Uh, back then it was intended that you more or less typed in the entire program. So here is the hexadecimal listing of the program. Luckily a guy named Udo Munk has already done that for us, so I have been able to punch it to this tape. And now I'm going to thread this into the paper tape reader, and then let's load it. Let's start with... Uh, we just put it in the tape reader. It's done like this. The paper tape reader is a bit noisy. The 
Take it to the reader. It's running now and it's reading with 300 characters per second. It is a FASIP 4021 uh, reader manufactured in Sweden. Afterwards, it looks like this. And then you need to wind it up. And luckily, I have this winder over here. So let's try that out. Right. It turns like this and then press here. Right, so the tape loaded correctly and we have rewound it now. Uh, the monitor is not running and it's waiting for action. And to start chess program, you just have to press reset. Press reset there and then uh, Micro Chess announces itself. Written by P. Jennings and T. O'Brien, 1977. Do we want to run Y? Yes. And here you go. Uh, unfortunately, this display is wider than or higher number of rows is higher than 16, which is number of rows of this terminal. So it's not possible to see the entire screen. But nevertheless, we can try to play some chess. The thing is that uh, the chess map looks like this. So we have the chess board here, and here is now the challenger as white, and this is uh, A, and this is. H, this is 1 and this is 8. So, yeah, let's see if we can move a uh, pawn here. So, we move, for example, dash 44. Okay, so we move this and the program moved 14. Now let's move uh, this knight here from there, from 71 to 52. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And it does 03 to 47. 03 and 